Judd Trump, the 2023 Bet Victor Northern Ireland Open champion. How are you feeling right now, Judd? A bit, a bit surprised, really. It kind of, it's just blending in and is in one big tournament. It just feels like I've won 20 matches in one event. I've only won one tournament. That's what it kind of feels like to me, just because it's happened so quick, I think. Um, it's not like the tournaments have been spaced out. So a bit surreal, really. Um, not not sunk in but i think the last session of that final was probably the, I'd say as close to the the best i felt in the whole period the whole, the whole um 20 game run really i felt really really good really sharp it's been a funny week for you really you alluded to it in the on the floor though when you got the trophy and, and rachel was talking to you you haven't been at your best this week and yet you've got through the matches and then this afternoon this evening was just scintillating wasn't it did you sort of feel it building i felt a bit up and down I, I felt like some of the games i was not great um early on but then i felt like against um stephen mcguire and, and, and barry that i didn't really do that much wrong it was just that they were playing good and i had to really play my best to even just scrape by i think it, it makes hell of a difference when i get off to a good good start when i go in front i can really kind of relax and just overpower the players it's, it's a lot more difficult when you're behind you're on the verge of going out so you're under a lot of pressure so I think whenever I get into a lead I feel really comfortable and I'm able to really play my best then well that's 20 straight wins in a row it's three successive ranking titles can, can you keep this up uh, to be honest when I had no expectation of going to China I thought one event is brilliant to see what happens there come back and then take the next event a bit more seriously but to, to go and win there I think just the first couple of days I felt so good it was just full of confidence and and the same in this event I think when you're playing well things just happen for you people miss at the right times and stuff like that and you're able to scrape through in the deciders and to live to fight another day all the time and, and that's the difference really I'm, I'm just able to to mentally just be in the right place and, and be there present when, when my chances arise. You said to me last night that you didn't think this was a one-off for Chris Wakelin, that he wouldn't win the shootout and then get to this final. You think there's a lot more to come from him. He's played a big part in this this week, hasn't he, despite the result or the scoreline tonight? Yeah, I think I've noticed it. I've definitely noticed it over the past sort of 12 months, really. He's improved a lot. He scores a lot heavier when he gets in. He feels a lot more confident. He even looks more confident down the shot. He looks like he's going to clear up every time he comes to the table. So I think for me, he's someone that... I've heard him say that he, he really works on his weaknesses as well, which m most people don't like to do. You just kind of concentrate on your strengths. And I think that's really kind of showed off for him. And it's nice to just to, to see someone out there with, with such a smile on their face and be happy to play in such a great arena. Talking of the great arena, you came out tonight, the crowd ripped the roof off the waterfront hall here in Belfast. They are special here, aren't they? Yeah, I think it's down to your great work before, rallying them up, getting them a bit excited for our game. And... Um, yeah, it's, it's always a pleasure to come here and play. But when it gets down to that, that one table set up, I think it does help as well when, when you're able to kind of build up the game when you're, when you're in there. It just makes for a, a different atmosphere. When you're backstage, you can kind of hear when you're first to go out 20 minutes before. And, and it kind of, it's a bit different in this event because the players are quite far away. But sometimes we're in the arena and we can kind of hear it. And... It's such a pleasure just to hear the excitement when you go out there. And I think the, the first session of the final is always good, but that second session, you've got to really take in those moments and, and enjoy them and, um, and remember them for the rest of your life, yeah. Before I let you go and enjoy your victory, um, let's just wind back five years to 2018 when you won your first Alex Higgins trophy. And that, of course, started on an amazing run. Since then, you've won 18 ranking events, one champion of champions and two Masters titles. Looking back five years ago, you couldn't have dreamt that, could you? No, it's, it's a hell of a lot of um, tournament wins in, in just five years. So I think even though it's been such an amazing period, there's it's still been people saying that I haven't been playing great for sort of two years' time and I've won over 20 events. So it just kind of goes the strike rate. And I think people will, maybe just because they expect more from me, maybe like some of the other players like Jack Lazowski, because it maybe looks easier a lot of the time that people expect even more. They, they think you can't possibly ever miss, but 
it's not that easy. And um, I think when a player does get on a run, you need to kind of remember how many tight games they're getting through because th that is literally the difference. In the British Open, I lost a really close game against Hamid Mia and I played well. The last three events, I must have scraped through five deciders, maybe, something like that, and could have, could have lost all of them, really. It's just a 50-50 shootout at that point. So the margins are so fine in snooker. The, 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 the talent is, is there for everyone to see. It's just about when it's your time, you, you've got to really take it. Absolutely. Judd, congratulations.